Hello friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In the last video we saw how to add a user in FreePer server and we also saw how to add the FreePer clients to the FreePer server. In this video we can see about how to configure the two-factor authentication for the users and we can also see how to add the SSH authentication for the users. So the two-factor authentication can be done in two ways for the users. So the users can set their two-factor authentication using the self-service portal. So the another way is to set the two-factor authentication by the admin user. So we can see the two methods in this video and we can also see how to set the SSH authentication for the user. First we can see about setting the two-factor authentication using the self-service portal. So we can just give the user the URL of this free per server. So if the user is going to access this portal, he'll be asked to enter the username and password. So you can use the test user which I created in the last video. Next you need to enter the password that has been set for this user and click login. By default, the password will expire during the first login. So it is asking for the new password. So I'm going to set the new password here. So now click reset and login. So password change is complete. So it is entered now. So here you can see the user information. So in this action, you can see there's option called add OTP token. The user can use the add OTP token here. So it will just give the types to be selected. It is time based OTP and counter based OTP. So I'm going by default we'll be using the time based OTP. So we can just give the description as MFA and click add. So now we can see the QR code here. So you can use the any type of authenticator app here. So if you are using Google Authenticator, you can use the Google Authenticator to scan it. If you are going to use Microsoft Authenticator, you can also use the Microsoft Authenticator app. Redder has provided the free OTP app which will be available in Play Store. So you can use any type of authenticator app like Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator. You can scan this code so you can add it to access the OTP. So now I'm going to scan this QR code. I have scanned this QR code in Google Authenticator app. So after adding this in the admin page, you can see a OTP token that is added to this user. So we can check the OTP token now. Select the HIPAA server select the authentication and in authentication you can see the OTP tokens so you can see the unique ID that is generated for this OTP so the owner is test user which is added by the user so we can see the next method added using the admin user so the admin can add the OTP for this any user so select the user that you want to set the OTP then go to actions and again in actions you can select the add otp token so the unique id you can give us test user description is mfa and if you want to provide the validity for this otp token you can still you can choose the validity start date and end date and no need to select the vendor model or any serial key options and you can use the SHA-1 algorithm and it digits are 6 so the clock interval seconds is 30 seconds so click add so after adding you can again see the QR code here so you can just take a snipping tool copy this QR code and share it with your user to make themselves add their OTP token so they can use this QR code and add it in their authenticator app to access the OTP. After adding this OTP, they, 
in the user authentication type you need to select this two factor authentication to make the user access with this OTP with OTP plus password so take this two factor authentication and click save now so so now the user is configured with the OTP option so now we can test the user now So now it is asking for the first factor authentication. So enter the enter the password first. So next enter the OTP that is generated in the authenticator app. One zero seven nine nine three. Now give enter. So now we can see. So now we can see. Now the OTP is configured for the test user, and you can see the two types of authentication is enabled. So next we can see how to add the SSH authentication to the user. So we can generate a key for this user. So click generate in the putty gen tool. Now the key is generated for the user. So copy this public key. And here in the admin portal you need to select the user to which you need to set the SSH key. And here you can see the SSH public keys option. So click add and paste the public key here. And now click set. And now the key is set. Now we need to update it using the save option. Now you can see the user is updated with the SSH key. So now we can test the user with the logging in using the key option. So now I'm going to log out this session. So now open the putty and enter the IP address which is 192.168.1.19 now select the SSH auth option and before that you need to save the private key so click save private key here and give the username as the file name and click save now we can access this using the private key that, you, that we have saved now. Now click open. Now give test user. Now you can see now we have logged in using the SSH key authentication. So in this way you can set the SSH key authentication and OTP token for this user. So in this video we saw how to configure the two-factor authentication for the users and we also saw how to configure the SSH public key for the users in FreeEPA. We can see more about the FreeEPA in the coming videos. Thanks for watching this video. Post your comments and suggestions. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos. You can follow me on this Instagram ID and Facebook page. For any queries, you can reach me on this Skype ID.